Defining motion in an assembly with mates or geometric relationships between the components is traditionally a lengthy process. Onshape streamlines this process, making it easier than traditional CAD systems with its use of innovative mate connectors that allow for multiple degrees of freedom to be locked down with a single mate. Snap Mode takes this already innovative process and goes one step further in speeding up the creation of mates. Snap Mode can either be used with existing components in an assembly or with components that are being newly inserted into an assembly. To mate two existing components in an assembly, first enable Snap Mode from the toolbar. With Snap Mode on, Hover the mouse cursor over a face or edge of the first component. This will reveal the implicit mate connector points to be used in the snap operation. In this case, the planar face of the bushing should be fastened to the outer face of the base. The bushing should also be concentric with the large hole of the base. Click and hold on the planar face of the bushing and drag and drop it to the planar face of the bracket or the outer edge of the large hole. When snap mode is enabled, the initially selected component will become transparent once it is dragged. There are a few helpful tips when defining mates using snap mode. The view of the assembly can still be manipulated through the standard controls, even while holding the mouse cursor on the initial selection. This makes it easier to drop the first mate connector onto the second reference when the assembly is not initially positioned where both mate connectors can be selected. When hovering over either component's reference face or edge, it may be difficult to select the desired mate connector as other faces or edges might be shown inadvertently. To prevent this and lock the selection to mate connectors of the desired face, hold down the shift key on the keyboard when hovering over the desired face or edge. This will force the mate connectors to remain visible even as the mouse cursor is moved across different faces or edges. The alignment of the mating component can also be reoriented during the snap process. While holding down the mouse cursor on the second selected mate connector, press the A key to flip the component along its primary axis. Press the Q key to rotate the component around its primary axis and reorient the secondary axis. When the mouse cursor is released after dragging, the mate dialog appears allowing for the selection of the desired mate type along with the respective options for that mate. Once the component is properly mated, the mate can be confirmed by selecting the green checkmark. For components being newly inserted into the assembly, explicit mate connectors of those components can be used to create mates in snap mode. This functionality is similar to using mate references in other CAD systems. When inserting the component, the mouse cursor will snap to the explicit mate connector of the component being inserted. Press the control key to toggle the selection between multiple explicit mate connectors within the component. To create the mate, hover over the reference face or edge of the component to which the newly inserted component should be mated and click the mouse cursor. A fastened mate is created by default. If necessary, this mate can be edited and a different mate type with respective options can be defined. By mastering snap mode, components are more easily mated and assemblies can be created in a snap.